Hello, today I will show you quickly how to use MQTT and connect it with your Ulanzi device. So let's go to the browser and here we go. Here is the MQTT documentation so you can read about it, but I will not focus on this just because I'm showing uh, you how to make it work in the Home Assistant. And well, I just have a Home Assistant so I was able to install it and I want to use it and send information directly to my device. So first of all, what we need to do, um, here is my home assistant and I'm going to guide you how to make it work. So first of all, what we need to do, you need to go to settings, then go to add-ons, then click on add-on store and look for MQTT and choose mosquito broker and just install it just like that. And after that, it will show you the configuration, but I saw what to do and I will explain it later. And here we go. Uh, in this configuration, you can read this is a field, uh, a list of local users, but uh, also there is information that you do not need to do this because you can use home assistant users too without any configuration. So it is much easier more convenient way and easier so we will do this so first of all go to settings then go to people then go to users and click add user and call it mqtt dash user uh, just to make it more convenient and now what we need to do we need to generate some password for mqtt user and i will use it and confirm the password then switch can only log in from the local network for security reason. And we will be using this user only in local network. Hit create and that's it. Go back to settings, go back to add-ons, then go back to mosquito broker, select watchdog and auto update. One more time, go to documentation. You can read it, but you don't have to in fact. and what is good to do select this show and use it optional and check everything here but you do not have to do anything here to be honest here is the log it's empty and what you need to do go to start and start the add-on and then go to log and check is it uh, well, yeah, it's closed. Some kind of connection came from the device, but uh, from this home assistant, this is the IP address of the Docker instance and closed its connection. And well, everything is done. So MQTT is working. So now go to settings, go to devices and services, and you can see something like this appear. So you need to click on configure. Do you want to configure Home Assistant to connect to the MQTT broker? Yes, and this is the connection that was uh, closed and not recognized and un the device was unable to connect because Home Assistant wanted to connect, but it's not configured. So click submit. Here we go. Created configuration for Mosquito Broker. Finish. And that's it. And well, then MQTT should just be configured properly and that's it and well not always and you are wondering now what is going on here and how to connect our device well sometimes this kind of approach is not the best one so instead doing this step I will show you just delete this configuration here then go back to this and click add integration and then click MQTT and select it and then select the first one. And now you need to provide the IP address for MQTT T and how to find out. So, well, you have to close it because the MQTT IP address is in fact the IP address of the home assistant so go to settings, go to system, go to network, click these three dots, click IP information and then copy the IP address without the mask. So we need only the IP address of this home assistant instance. Click close and then go back to settings, go to devices, services, 
click add integration mqtt one more time select this one this one and provide the ip address of the broker and now username of course mqtt user and the password will be the password for mqtt user and then just click submit there is nothing more than this needed in this case click finish and it should work and uh, then one entry you can see it's added and no devices or entities configured and well it will not work because your device is not recognized so sometimes you are wondering what to do and how to make it work that the Ulandi device will appear here and now you can see my tablet is connected and I can just show you this MQTT section and here we will have to type our password but it is much more convenient to doing this not in your tablet but in the browser so we will switch to the browser and we will connect to this IP address so it will be 10.10.1.212 and well it is MQTT and now the broker the IP address of our broker is 10.10. Well, yes, 0100 and then the username is, of course, MQTT user. So we will have to type it here and then the password for the MQTT user. Select Home Assistant Discovery and let this device to be recognized just because this Home Assistant Discovery is to um, let this device be recognized by Home Assistant mqtt broker save the configuration and then it's it's one more time because uh, yes this option must appear and close it and then restart your esp and wait because it have to be restarted and i will show you why and now you can see it is starting mqtt that is why you need to restart this device because without restart it will not work so go back to the home assistant now and refresh it and you can see new connection from 10.10.0 on port and what is going on new client connected on 10.10.0 from awtrix so exactly this one device because this is prefix control c Control F, Control V, and you can see exactly these devices is connected. And how to find out that it is connected? Go to settings, then go to devices and services, go to MQTT, and you can see what is going on. One device and two, 25 entries. So click this device and voila, it's done. So this device is visible here and well, What's more, um, if you will go to overview, you can click these three dots and edit dashboard. And then you can click this plus to add another view. And I have this view created. And what I did, I just added a card. So you can select this and one card of this and you can add it here. But it is much more convenient to leave it in edit mode and go back to settings, then go to your devices services and select this device here and here you have two options add to dashboard so this tab number one and tab number two add to dashboard so we can add to dashboard and select the dashboard actually then you can select this and next and then add to dashboard i will not do this just because i already did it this is the way you can achieve your goal and here I have this. If it will appear for a mistake because you will select the home, then it will appear here. Then if it will be visible here in this section, you have also option to click three dots and select to move to view and select proper dashboard. That's it. And well, that's it. Everything is here. So my device is visible in this section and I can manage it. And now you can see we have something like matrix here, this slide. And I will show you 
how it is working. So let's go to my camera and now I will click on the matrix and voila, it went to sleep mode and it's on and one more time go to bed and it's on just like that so that is why we know that it is working also we have something like a transition mode so we can select for example fade or we can select random and it will work this way and i will show you so here we go quick overview the random view the random uh effects random transition and just like that you can see everything is running as expected lovely so now you're wondering okay fine but what to do to send something to this device um well i will show you then what you need to do actually you need to go to your browser but instead go to settings and devices and services and do not click on device but on this mqtt icon and select it quickly and here you have something like configure so click on this text configure and here you have a option publish a packet and now you are wondering what to do um well you need to copy this prefix so i will do this and we need to paste it into the topic and then we need to type slash and then not the file and well next step is to provide a payload so i will paste it into this field and then you can see text hello sys admin icon one rainbow true well what next um and how to find out which icon to use we will go to aw3 slide and here we have something like icons but the preview is empty and there is no icon so if we will type id number one and we will click preview so we can download it but this is not nice icon and you're wondering okay is there any other icon that i can use and is there some website that i can use to preview icons well yes this is it developerlametric.com and you have a list of icons for example I would like to look for something and I would like to see CLI command line and will it find something like for you um well I don't know it doesn't look like something that I want to command what about command and yeah I just want okay this is fine the green one lovely or or the black one so i can click it use this id so copy this id then go back quickly to your aw tricks light web gui and gui and type this id here and click preview and then click download and okay now it is asking us for a user and a password so it will be adrian and aw tricks and login there and this this icon the save and how to find out go to files and it will open a file manager and it should appear here in the icon directory and just give me a second yes it's loading slowly and if you will click on icons you can see the icon 48864 is loaded and it is visible here nice so what we can do i will close this file manager and I will go to icons and I will just copy this ID and I will go back to my settings. And now instead of number one, so this is the ID, I will put the number uh, copied directly from this Lametrix website. And you can see duration 10 and I will increase it to 20, for example. And then I will hit publish. And now it should show you something like this. Hello, says admin. And here we go, we have the icon and that's it. It is working like a charm. Hello, this admin. So what we did, we sent a text to this device. This is just an example how we can achieve. And this is very basic because in fact, this is something that is not saved. And I will show you and well, yeah, then the text disappeared and it's not permanent. And in the next lesson, I will teach you 
how to make it permanent. So we will install Node-RED flowchart designer. We will find out how to use flowcharts and I will show you. And we are talking about this. So in this AWTrix Lite Web GUI, you have something like flow section. And if you will click it, it opens this website. And here we have automations for Home Assistant, Blueprint, N8N, Node-RED and Blockly. So I will teach you Node-RED and then I will teach you N8N and we will be able to use it. And you can see YouTube is for Node-RED, but some for N8N. And for example, what if I want a WooCommerce order notification, for example, or follower count for TikTok or clock power schedule, for example, why not? Then, yes, this is something that is created for N8 and, and I don't want to waste my time and create something from the scratch, but instead I will use this and I will teach you how to use these flowcharts and how to import them first to Node-RED and then in the next lesson to N8N. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.